I'm about to show you the most shocking discovery I've made in my truth journey. The true name of God has been removed from our Bibles over 6,000 times, and that name is Yahuwah, represented by the Tetragrammaton YHWH, which translates to the numerical sequence of 10565. The name of God, YHWH, repeats over and over in your DNA. The shortened version of his name is Yah. We see this in Psalm 68 verse 4. Sing unto God, sing praises to his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name, Jah. But guess what? The letter J was only invented 500 years ago. If we go to the original Hebrew for Jah, it is Yah. Right? And we know Jehovah is a false translation because Hova in Hebrew translates to ruin, disaster, and calamity. Who's the one that comes to kill, steal, and destroy? Destruction. It's Satan. What did Satan say in his heart? He said, I will send above the tops of the clouds. I will make myself like the Most High. He wants to take over God's position, which is what got him cast out of heaven and why he's so angry now. He's going to try to deceive all of us. The name Yah is also written on your face. Y-A-H. You also say the name Yahuwah every single time you breathe. Right, he breathed into Adam's nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. Your bronchial breath, the inhale and exhale, and the inhale and exhale of the vesicular breath are both represented by a three to one ratio. All right, Psalms 150 verse six, let everything that has breath praise Yahuwah. You're saying his name every time you breathe and you don't even know it. Right, we know it's not Yahweh because the breath is a three to one ratio. Yahuwah, not a two to one ratio. The name Yahweh is a false pagan god. You can look this up. Yahweh is literally a pagan goddess. It's all over the internet. It's a pagan deity. It's basically just yet another deception from Satan. So the YHWH was actually removed and changed to Lord over 6,000 times in the Old Testament. So every time you see Lord, it was originally his name, Yahuwah, right? The YHWH, which looks like this. And so this name, YHWH, Yahuwah, was changed and removed and translated to Lord 6,000 times in the Old Testament. This is due to the ineffable name doctrine from the devil, right? This is basically a doctrine given to the translators that is said that we should not pronounce his name because it's too holy to be uttered. But that would actually destroy the third commandment. You do not bring the name of Yahuwah, your Elohim, to nothing or to naught. For Yahuwah does not leave the one unpunished who brings his name to naught or to nothing. That's what it actually means to take the Lord's name in vain. Is bringing it to nothing, which is what Satan did. Really not supposed to be saying Jesus or Jehovah. The J was invented 500 years ago. Now, what does this name actually mean? If you translate his name into Hebrew, and remember they read right to left, it states, Behold, hand, behold, nail. Or in other words, behold the nails in the hand. Right? So the Most High's name literally prophesies the death of our Messiah long before it happened. Remember, Satan hates this name, right? Because what did the death and resurrection of Messiah do? It gave us power as believers, right? And it also gave us salvation and gave us entry to Yah's kingdom. Right, the true name of the Son, now it's not Jesus, it's Yahusha. Sha in Hebrew means salvation, so this translates to Yah is salvation. Remember what Messiah said in John 5, 43. I have come in my Father's name, and you have not received me. But if someone else comes in his own name, you will receive him. Right, he came in the Father's name, Yahuwah, because Yahusha means Yahuwah is salvation. But we are all praying to Jesus, which means Jehovah is salvation. We know Hova is destruction, ruin, and calamity. So we should not be praying to that name, right? This is due to Hellenization, right? Which is Greek influence. But the original name is Yahusha of the sun, which means Yah saves. But the Greeks transliterated it to Jesus, which is false. We don't change people's name. Especially when he told us in Exodus 3 verse 15, Yahuwah, Elohim of your fathers, the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever. 
and this is my remembrance to all generations. He said this is his name forever and his memorial to all generations. Imagine I went to your gravestone, your memorial, and scratched off your name and changed it or transliterated it. It's ridiculous. Now remember, every time it was supposed to say YHWH, it was translated to Lord 6,000 times. Now, I understand the word Lord is a term for the Most High. But if you go into the Hebrew, Baal translates to Lord. Right, so Satan has basically taken out God's name, brought it to nothing, which violates the third commandment. It has us all saying these Greek Hellenized transliterations of the true name. And guess what? His name is actually in the older Bibles. This is the 1560 Geneva. Yahuwah. Right, that's how it's said in Greek. Right, but what did they do? They even changed that to Jehovah in all the newer Bibles. If y'all want a part two on this series, let me know. I got a lot to say. This was a very hard one for me to accept. I had to take a lot of praying and research. But he's given me peace on it now, and he's given me lots of confirmation. May Yah bless you guys. Don't forget to like and follow. Shalom. Which means peace in Hebrew.